Hi guys, just a fair warning, the audio is pretty wild on this one. I don't know what happened, but I hope you enjoy anyways. Driving with Randy. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, everybody? My name is Road Rage Randy, and welcome to another episode of Driving with Randy. I am your host, Road Rage Randy, as I already said, but I might as well repeat things, right? Uh, what do we got rolling today, huh? Well, it's hot as balls out. My balls are sticking to my legs. Uh, it's, it's hot. It's like 102. And, I mean, we might as well, since we're on the topic of my balls, we might as well just keep discussing. So, this morning, someone showed up at my door, some Jesus people. Holy, I've seen, I've seen four police cars already and I'm just getting on the road. Well, anyways, I saw, uh, someone rang my doorbell. I didn't know who it was. Turns out it was people spreading the words of Jesus. God bless them for doing that, right? Another one. Oh, uh, there's, there's something going down. There is something for sure going down because that's another cop car. Maybe I should avoid going that way. Whatever. We'll, we'll just go anyways. Check out, see what see what kind of problems people are causing so anyways these jesus people they're they're at my door i don't know 10 a.m actually i think it was closer than like 9 9 a.m they're out at the at the crack of dawn spreading the word of jesus they got they got things to do anyways so the the whole yeah like they show up at my door i'm i'm still in my pajamas I got my underwear on i got just a crappy shirt on I got these skimpy little purple silk boxers, you know, like, it, it's like, it's like barely covering my balls, like, they're, they're like hanging out, and I answer the door, I figure, I figure it's not that bad, I mean, it could have been like my neighbor or something, but nah, it's just, just someone spreading the word of Jesus, and at the very least, I think they're gonna pray for me, because I'm the idiot that answered the door with his balls hanging out of his shorts, or his uh, purple silk boxers. I don't know. They didn't seem too alarmed by it. I wasn't too alarmed by it. We'll carry on. But yeah, it's like 102 degrees. I gotta go to work. Amazon's on strike right now. It's Prime Day as as I record this. So you're gonna, man. I got like two, three in the bank. So you're gonna hear this probably a week late. Just because that's how I roll. I, I've been pumping these bad boys out. These podcasts. We hit. We just. We had a surge in numbers. Like. I kid you not, I went like a spike of 60 views in the matter of a day. Like what? I didn't even upload anything that interesting. I mean, it's just like my normal podcast, but it's like, whatever, we'll take it, we'll take it. So that's kind of, it's kind of where we're at with that. Like it just, it spiked. I told the supervisor at work that I was going to hand my two weeks in because the podcast is blowing up. You know, 40, 40 listens, that's something. We got another review on um, on iTunes. We got a five stars. Let me tell you, people, we're up to six now. Six five-star reviews. Unreal. Uh, there goes the Amazon driver. Guess they're not on strike. I mean, they're just a guy with a prime van driving by. I mean, uh, how's your strike going, dude? You're clearly not too well if you're working. Or you're a scab, one of the two. Um went off-roading too it's, what a, what a guy anyways uh what yeah dude there's something going down because this cop is now in the construction area you're not supposed to be in there oh ho, ho, they're having some issues um i hate going this way because of the construction i've probably said that more than once this guy dying from heat stroke he's not he just had a sledgehammer anyways let's get Let's get to the today to 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 Huh? Let's get to today's story. All right, we're going to we're going to talk about a lovely adventure that ended with a what the hell moment. All right? So, all right. So, for starters, we go I mean, we go to Green Mill, right? Great time, great time. But we get there and it's like, "Oh, we got a limited menu. We're lacking um, workers, employees, cool, whatever, you warned me, dude, 
this guy behind me has tinted windows. He just he just looks like he's trying to pull me over. Oh, that's a lady talking on the phone. I think we're good. I think we're good. Mm. Anyways, so we go to we go there. A limited menu. Whatever. They warned us. So I asked the lady, I'm like, so what's limited about it? And she's like, you can't get anything that's sauteed. So like pastas, hamburgers. I don't know what the hell sauteed means. Right? And then the only thing you saute onions. Can't you just say nothing with onions? I don't know. Not my problem anyways. But we we, but we both got a, a, a hot pocket. Well, it's called a calzone. But it reminded me of a hot pocket. Or like a giant pizza roll. So... I don't know, I told some guy that they have good Hot Pockets. I mean, that's just being friendly, man. I just walked out and I'm like, you guys should have their Hot Pockets. They're good. And, I mean, they were very good, very delicious. Anyways, uh, carry on, carry on. Um, Yeah, well, we end up, you know, we went, we, we went to Frisbee Golf and the bugs were vicious. Like, my, my ankle was itching so much this morning. Like, I probably could have itched my way through my leg. Like, just... Oh, it was bad. It was bad. Anyways, then, then we end up at this park. And, okay, this park's in the middle of nowhere, and it closes at 10. So we leave at, and I got an alarm set on my watch, 9, 9.46, because, you know, I ain't doing no 9.45 bull crap. You know, that's stupid. 9.46. Got to go one up from the, from the good time. You know, like if it's a zero, it's got to be like a one or a nine. If it ends on a five it's got to be like a, a four or a seven something like that it can't be a five five and zeros are off limits when it comes to setting alarms so yeah i mean we we so we get out of the park fine right and we're driving down this road now this is like it's like a country road right it's not necessarily eh, i mean it was it was pretty deserted all right there wasn't I'm, you know what, I got the AC slightly on, I can't put it on all the way, or it's gonna be able to hear it through the mic, the, the podcasting mic, which is just an iTunes mic, by the way, I mean, it, it, for those of you that don't know, we don't do anything too fancy here over at the Driving with Randy podcast, um, it's just an iPhone, an iPhone mic, I'm in my studio, which is a 2007 Toyota Sienna, chick magnet by the way just that's all i'm saying about this sienna you've got an oldies car behind me he thinks he's flexing on me hell no i got a toyota sienna boy and there goes that dodge that was had the tinted windows she just flew by me well anyways we were discussing the podcast about how i use a terrible mic terrible idea terrible content you get the idea if you've listened this far into the podcast you already know it's pretty bad right Anyway, so we're on this we're on this terrible road, you know, like corn fields or soybean fields on each side. There's no houses, not 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 for a mile, but it leads us to the main the main road. So that's where we had to get on. And we're like we're driving, we're driving, and there's just something in the middle of the middle of the road, right? You know, this is deer country. You'd expect, oh, we got a deer. Or, Oh, we got a hitchhiker or something, right? That's what you'd expect when you see something in the middle of the road. Maybe a raccoon, maybe a squirrel or a rabbit. But you wouldn't stop for that. You'd just keep rolling, you know? Some a little bigger. You know, we're not in moose country. You wouldn't expect to see a bear. We're out in the farmland. So, I mean, a deer would be a reasonable exception because there's some woods deep into the cornfield, you know? I think I think that would have been a reasonable assumption, right? No, no, it's it's none of the freaking above. We're we're driving. Oh, that, we're gonna give this guy a shout out because I've seen him before. Uh, he runs a YouTube channel. It's called Northwoods. Uh, I've seen his truck before. I mean, we gotta just give him a shout out on the podcast. I've never watched a single second of any of his videos, but he's trying so hard, man. He's got he's got the whole. Uh, the whole advertisement thing across his truck that says Northwoods and check us out on YouTube. So at the very least, I'll give him a, a platform on my podcast, free advertisement. Maybe they'll come across it one day and uh, he 
can return the favor. I don't know how they're doing. I don't know if they're rocking a whole bunch of subscribers or if they're struggling channel. All I know is when my podcast blows up, so is their channel because we're in this together now. I've seen your truck, man. I've seen it. Anyways, back to what was in the middle of the road. Can you guys take a guess? What do you guys think was in the middle of the road? It, it You know, maybe a coyote? No. No, that's what I thought it was. I thought it was a coyote because it wasn't big enough to be a deer. It wasn't girthy enough to be a bear. It wasn't, like, small enough to be a squirrel. You know what it was? A fucking goat. There was a fucking goat in the middle of the road. Like, bah, right? Isn't that what, is that what goats make? Is that what sheeps make? Shit. I need to go back to elementary school and learn learn what uh, sounds people make. Or animals. Bah. I think that's what my goats make, right? God, now it's bothering me. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to, like... Alexa! What sound does a goat make? Oh, yeah, we're in a car. I can't really use an Alexa. Well, anyways, we'll look that up later. We'll figure out what sound a goat makes. <laughs> what an embarrassment. But, yeah, they were where we were just driving down the road. I wasn't driving. No, I, I, I was I was riding. I was riding shotgun. You know? I, was, I was the co-pilot at that point. We were like, goat! There's a goat in the middle of the road. Road, so we just inch towards it and then it goes running off into the middle of the field. Like, what? Where did it come from? Where was it supposed to be? Oh my gosh. This. Don't like aliens usually kidnap goats or something? Maybe that goat was trying to get back to its homeland and like. We. It was trying. It, it was the meetup point, and it just it didn't work out. Oh my god! You know what? This reminded me. I was thinking. I was thinking maybe the the UFO that comes picks it up. Um, or sorry for those of you who are gonna get all anal about it. I believe they're called AFFs these days. Something like that. Or AFB. I think it's AFB. Autonomous. Flying vehicle, I believe, is what they changed the name to. But yeah, like I was thinking, maybe it's its Uber. That kind of reminded me that uh, this weekend I went to go see a movie. Now me, you guys know I'm not very much of a movie person. I'll go watch. Uh, I mean, I, I watch Roar, 19, 1981, one of the best films ever created, right? And I've talked about it before, and I'm going to stand by it. It's a fantastic film. It's, uh, the, the plot, the, the lack of editing, it's, it's just good. It's, it's just a quality film. And, man, all these people just, they, we're at a bus stop. They're all wearing jeans right now because they work shitty office jobs. And each one of them looks like they absolutely hate their life. And guess what? It's high as hell. Nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do. They're a pretty cool car behind me. Anyways, um... Yeah, what were, what were we discussing? We were discussing the whole... Oh, yeah, I went to go see a movie. So the movie that I went to go see, it was called Stuber. So I'm going to do a I'm gonna do a review on Stuber. If, if Stuber is something you're interested in, I mean, don't listen because... Spoiler? Nah. I will... Just, well, maybe I'll spoil it. I don't know. I mean, it's it's up to you. It's it's not very much of a spoiler, but anyways, let's uh let's discuss Stuber. So the idea behind the movie is we got this man working at like some sporting goods store, and he doesn't make enough money, and they won't give him more hours. So he starts driving Uber. Right. So he's driving Uber in his spare time to make some extra money. And his name's Stu, so that's why they call, that's why when one guy, is, one of his frequent wa- riders gets in, they call him Stuber, because his name's Stu, and it's Uber, you get it? Stuber, all right, good, good, I'm glad that you guys are, I'm glad we're all on the same page here. It's, a, anyways, so um, essentially what happens is there's a big old cop dude, which is played by Batista, he doesn't, he ain't Batista bomb nobody though. 
you guys know Batista, right? Batista from the WWE got the got the sun sun tattoo around his belly button. Where's the nice little speedo thing? Yeah, that's Batista. Anyways, he played. I don't know his real name. He played whatever the guy's name was. I forget with it. He's a cop. And holy shit, I am falling asleep. Um. So they they get to. Pretty much, this cop, he gets the day off to go visit his daughter for for uh, her art show. But like, Batista's like not ha- his name's not Batista in the movie, but that's what we're referring to him as, right? So Batista's like, no, uh, uh, man, that guy, this guy's got one of those man buns going down right next to me. It's like it's a nub. It's a little tiny. Like, his hair's so short, and he just got a little nub of a man bun going on. Interesting, interesting hairstyle choice. Not my choice, but... Hmm. I need some water. Anyways, um, we're discussing... So, Batista, yeah, he doesn't Batista bomb anybody. He gets the day off for his daughter's art show, and he... He's a workaholic, right? Like, all he wants to do is go solve crimes and capture people. And there's this guy that he's been out to get. Now he's got a... He's got a... What do you call it? Uh, uh, what is it called? Fuck, I keep you on. Um, what's it called when... A lead. He's got a lead. That's what it's called. So he's got a lead on this... this uh, this big, I don't know, drug seller that he's been working on, right? He gets a lead on his day off. Well, he took the day off, so he figured he might as well get LASIK eye surgery as well, right? So he goes, I don't know, it felt like one big advertisement of a movie. We got LASIK, we got Uber. I mean, there was a a terrible uh, sporting goods store. So it, it was probably named Dick's. No, I'm kidding. Dick's Sporting Goods is a good store. It, it really um, yeah, so it just, it, it, pretty much, why do I keep yawning? I am not tired. It's just this heat. The heat's making me tired. I'm going to pass out at work. I should maybe get a monster or something, or I need more water or something like that. Anywho, um, so, uh, yeah, he gets LASIK eye surgery. He can't see, so he's not allowed to drive, but he gets this lead. And he's like, oh, shit, I got to follow this lead, right? And, well, pretty much so what he does is he tries driving. The driving doesn't work out. He ends up in a, uh, like, the construction workers had a hole dug, and he ended up in that hole. And he's like, well, I still got to capture this dude, so I'm just going to leave my car. So he leaves his car there. He calls up an Uber, and... As you guessed it, Stu, Stuber picks him up, right? Stu the Uber, he picks him up. So Stuber picks him up, right? They, and then they have to make their first stop, which is a, a gay strip club, right? And he tells them to, to uh, you know, like, hold up. Anyways, he, something you need to know about this Stuber guy is, unlike him, you know, un, I mean, unlike me, Stuber's not getting five-star reviews. Like, I get five-star reviews. Stuber, he's rocking the ones and the twos, and he's just, he, he, he's trying to get his rating up, right? He's like a five or a 4.2, and he just wants to get that rating up. And people keep rating him one star, even though he comes across as a very nice guy. He just talks too much and sounds like an idiot. Anyways, so that's Stuber for you. But, yeah, Batista gets to this strip club, and he tells Stuber to wait. He's like, I can't because Stuber has this girl hitting him up and Stuber is trying to get laid by this girl. I guess they banged before, but it was kind of a, a rebound thing. Like she breaks up with her boyfriend. She's still horny. So he goes and bangs her. And anyways, that's kind of what's rolling here. And he has feelings for her, but they're not going to be a thing ever. She's just horny. Hey, anyway, and then, uh, and then we got, uh, all right, so they had the strip club. They figure shit out. They leave the strip club. They head somewhere else. I don't know. At this point in the movie, like I told you, I'm not good with movies. I space out. Don't understand. It's just, it's not my thing. So I space out. There's some action going on. And uh, 
we're just going to cut towards the end here because I don't remember what happened during the middle. I mean, like I watched it and I enjoyed it and there was some funny moments, but I just, I can't have the attention span for movies. It just doesn't work. It's not who I am. I like podcasts. I listen to a four hour podcast in one sitting, easy peasy, but that's because I can do other things. A movie, you're like, you're just there. I mean, you're, you're in a recliner. You're there. Oh, had a guy cut in front of you because that road's backed up so where are we at in the movie oh, so towards the end right essentially what happens is uh batista kept kept stuber on the on the uber tab all day right you know driving him everywhere he ends up getting like a a, a five fifty five hundred dollar bill for his uber and and stuber you know he get he gives him a yeah, yeah, Batista gives him a five-star rating, just as ass. And, like, Stu is like, uh, I am sorry, my, my guy. He, he, he's like Indian or something. I'm sorry, my guy. I did not think you were going to give five stars, so I go ahead and rate you one. So he rated him a one-star passenger rating, but it's like, Batista don't need an Uber. Batista just couldn't drive that day. I mean, that was the issue. Happy ending after all, right? Stuber takes a... Uh, here's the spoiler. So Stuber takes a takes bullet for Batista's daughter. And they end up capturing the bad guy. The feds show up. Good time. I would recommend seeing it. Like, it was good. I just... I'm not a movie guy. So you can't really take my opinion too well. Yeah, I mean... I, 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 there's, there's another movie out that I want to see. I don't remember what it's called. And there's one that comes out August 1st that's like some kids. Yeah, it should be a banger of a movie. Hell yeah. Oh, I'll go see it one day. Anywho, anywho that's all I got. That's all I got. We're in, we're done talking about movies. I'm not good with talking about movies. But that's it. That's all I got for you guys, okay? God bless you all. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at Thoughts by Randy. We're on Reddit, which no one's checking out. It's, uh, it's r slash driving with Randy. Um, this guy's this guy's gas pumps open. I wish I could help the man out, but like his gas pumps open. Anyways, we'll we'll just keep driving. Um, yeah, thank you guys very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed what you listened to, make sure you rate five stars on iTunes. If you don't know how to rate five stars on iTunes, what you have to do is you have to go to the search. You have to search for Driving With Randy. Even if you're subscribed to me, you have to go to the search. And you have to search for me, and you click me, and then it will give you the option to read reviews and write a review. So make sure you rate me whatever you feel four star. I felt like this was a pretty half decent podcast. There was content, it wasn't really planned, but it was like maybe three or four star content. If you're really feeling generous, hit me up with five. you leave a one star i at least want to know why you leave a one star so make sure you write a mean old nasty review or leave some kind words i love hearing from my fans thank you guys very very much for tuning in and i will see you uh next time peace